I had just gotten off the phone with him. I had just gotten off the phone with him. She had just gotten off the phone with her son, a heartbroken mother, sharing her last moment speaking with him. We're learning more about those moments before a University of Virginia football player was killed. NBC News spoke exclusively with the parents of Deshaun Perry, one of the three victims of that tragic deadly shooting that we saw last month. And today they're speaking out to the public. I want to get to NBC6's Ari Odser uh, at the press conference that was just held. Ari, uh, it was so hard to, to hear her speak, uh, to hear the family speak. They are devastated, as you guys can imagine. They just spoke here at the Hyatt Regency. It's only been just over a month since their son, Deshaun Perry, was murdered. This is a month that's gone by in a blur of agony. Deshaun Perry was a senior linebacker at the University of Virginia. He played high school ball here at Gulliver Academy in South Florida, well known in the community. He was murdered by a former teammate who also shot and killed two of Deshaun's current teammates in the same horrific mass shooting incident. And today from his mother, Happy Perry, and from Deshaun's father, Sean Perry, we learn more about what was lost in this tragedy. Take a listen. My son was a loving, caring young man. He loved his family. He loved his teammates. And this is heartbreaking right now. My take here, I would like to advocate on his behalf for, um, for mental health and our gun violence laws. I'm asking that the football world takes a stand and join us in this fight. If you didn't know Deshaun, you wouldn't even talk about football off the field. You wouldn't even know that he was a football player. Because once he gets off, he's just a regular, regular old kid. He would talk about more politics, he would talk about religion, he would talk about anything other than football. So we we're very, very proud of who he became as a young man, as a leader. He would come home on his breaks, go to the local parks, throw footballs with the kids, go back to Gulliver, help out coaching his coaches, go to the, the elementary school that's right around the corner, play basketball with the kids. So he was just a fun, loving young man that did everything right. And this is a horrific And six months before he was ready to graduate from college. They recognized that the assailant who took their son's life had problems, but he didn't get the help that he needed. And when you have those problems that we have throughout this country and you have unfettered, easy access to weapons, that, when those two things collide, is why we have 40,000 gun deaths every year in our country. That was attorney Michael Haggard. He points out that the young man who shot those three people, the shooter in this case, had should have triggered red flag laws, that he was on the radar of law enforcement up there at the University of Virginia. Authorities there had just done a threat assessment of that young man, yet still he was able to legally obtain a gun and carry out this horrific act. Deshaun Perry dies six months before he would have graduated from one of the nation's best colleges, the University of Virginia. We're live in Coral Gables, Ari Odds, or NBC6 News.